Patreon, uh, which is uh, patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. In today's date, we have quite a bit to discuss. We are going to discuss quite a bit of it, actually. That will include uh, British Pound, Euro, Silver, Gold, uh, Crude Oil, and we'll also look into Dow Jones as well. So I have added two more things, Crude Oil in, uh, from my last analysis and uh, Dow Jones. Dow Jones is showing some very, very interesting price action and so does uh, Crude Oil, so keep an eye on it. First of all, we'll start with the, with the British Pound. And in uh, one of my previous analyses, which I indicated that on a larger time scale, I'm an, uh, expecting for the price uh, for British Pound to go all the way right over here too. All right, and that stands still by. That forecast is going to happen is a very lengthy period time of period maybe easily couple of months is going to take to go up there in that area and that's quite a bit of time so we need to tune things down to find out uh, smaller time frame analysis uh, the larger time frame analysis is still positive we are looking for British pound to go up in the, at least create a double top with this one on a smaller time frame though let's have a look on, on hourly time frame uh, we were able to forecast uh, this particular movement. I took advantage of it. I took profit, and then price sh sharply reversed, giving us an indication that this swing probably is complete right now. So, on a shorter time frame, I'm not going to uh, trade a British pound in this one. I'm going to wait for the prices to drop further down. So, right now, I'm expecting, as per the analysis, that we are expecting a for a British pound to go down. It is uh, once again, it is. Uh, not along with the main trend so I will be avoiding it if someone of you guys want to trade it why not go ahead but as long as my own analysis and uh, trading is concerned uh, I would stick with the main uh, long term if the pullback is on somewhere over here I would like to go long right over here but on a smaller time frame we can see uh, let's have a look if we can sign fine for, for example uh, we can see there is a clear head forming uh, there is a, a lot of support coming in for the uh, bearish price action we can see the price is already below this chop. Uh, this is very important area once again if you keep an eye on this one and this one and price had stayed below for that so going along with the trend is easy at this moment and we are wishing uh, we are uh, expecting for the pressing to go deep there is a possibility that it can actually create a double bottom with this one right there is a possibility so but I'm expecting for British pound to be in lower end in this area next few days it's gonna take let's have a look at your uh, euro euro is very interesting we did uh, see a positive price movement on a smaller time frame there were a lot of bearish calls the last week neither of did happen we stayed in the side wave uh, price section let's have a look on a daily time frame so we can see from last uh, four or five days we were a little bearish and then we jumped up and down up and down in this range and I'm expecting that Bojoro is going to be in, in the range, not in this particular range. I'm expecting in this particular range for a good while and then we'll see up. Once again, in my an previous analysis, long term swings analysis, I gave an indication that we are expecting Joro to create a longer term swing, creating at least a new double top with this one. And there is a possibility it may create a new top as well. So we are, the largest swing is upward and it looks like that we are going up and down uh, in this particular price movement area. Let's zoom in on a uh, four hourly or hourly time frame much would be much better. <coughs> As we can see that we have already seen this price of side ass action. I'm expecting that this support will hold and we are expecting the next major swing to go up in this direction. And then it find a resistance there is a possibility that we we'll might return. But right now uh, the the swing analysis is giving us an indication that the major uh, swing for euro is upward and then this is what I'm looking at it this is how I'm looking at it so this is the first leg of the swing and the middle of the swing and another swing right over here price movement wave I'm expecting right to go over here if you guys are aware of Elliott wave analysis we are expecting uh, a flat correction with a deeper wave C so wave A wave B itself is a, is a flat correction and then we are expecting this going to be a five wave correction uh, five wave structure creating a double top with this one uh, let's not forget about uh, f let's forget about this leg for now but the major swing uh, for next few days we are expecting we are interested in euro to go up in this area creating a double top that is our target stays Yo uh, gold and silver have moved uh, in interestingly 
uh, not as strongly as you were expecting in my previous analysis I told you guys that we were expecting uh, to for both of them to go to be bullish uh, this is on a daily time frame we have seen some bearish price action uh, this is what the initial first day Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday was very very boring although I was expecting that we are have seen correction overnight uh, some sort of correction and we should be going upward uh, so there is I think that more accumulation happening on a smaller time frame than we thought I'm definitely be uh, bullish on in on gold and silver if you look at this uh, support zone I already indicated that this support zone is very very important uh, this is silver we are talking about so right now a major swing that I'll be expecting on a, on a on uh, silver is definitely bullish uh, and I'm expecting right now there is a high probability that we will be able to cross uh, the previous top this one right over here very over here uh, and once again when, once prices cross over here we will be able to uh, discuss more as far as silver is concerned now uh, on an hourly time frame I do want to indicate uh, that we have seen a deeper swing right over here so we can consider this as wave A and this as wave B in this case this is wave 1 and 2 and 3 4 and 5 the point here indicated is that we have uh, completed wave B of the correction or you can consider it as a larger wave 1 and a larger degree wave 2 and this is a complete uh, a higher degree uh, I mean uh, there is another impulsive wave that we have started and the correction is happening on a smaller time frame this is what I wanted to indicate it that this, the correction right over here is uh, much smaller in terms of time spent as compared to this one right over here giving us an indication that this degree of the wave is complete right over here this wave is complete here this wave is complete right over here and this wave which has started from here is going on uh, so we can see that clearly an impulsive price action and a correction coming right and the top right over here I'm expecting that we are going to see an impulsive price action some sort of correction and one more price action going upward at that point will be very very interesting to see what the larger pattern is forming so once again an impulsive corrective and impulsive corrective probably and one more impulsive giving us a five wave structure starting from this bottom and once again once the, we have completed a five wave structure uh, we'll be able to discuss more and I think there's a lot of interesting price action should be followed after this part particular price action is complete a similar pattern that we are seeing in in uh, gold as well <coughs> first of all we do need to understand that from our one of our analysis we understood that uh, truncation happened from this top right over you're expecting a uh, deeper price action this giving us an indication that this level is very very important for gold and we have seen prices to go up it came down dramatically a uh, lot of people I myself was not expecting such dramatic deep price action does not even mean that the uh, the the mm, uh, now the bullish action is complete it's only we have seen a historical double top forming uh, this top was very very important from the previous swings right right over here giving us an indication that even though we have come down but we have found support right now uh, and this is how it happens uh, resistance and support that's what exactly is resistance support coming back in we have seen uh, a price action and then a correction so impulsive and corrective behavior if you look at this once again price uh, corrective price action and this uh, corrective wave this is much smaller as compared to this one right over here there is a smaller pro pro probability that this uh, correction that actually started from over here is still going on but it still not be that large as this one in, com in terms of time spent I'm not talking about uh, the price action only I'm talking about uh, time spent as well along with the the, uh, the price movement as well so it looks to me right now that we have completed a smaller impulsive corrective we are expecting wave 3 which is quite uh, you guys are aware of it one of the strongest waves in uh, Elliott wave analysis <laughs> so we are expecting that to happen and then a correction and then uh, I am expecting as per my analysis that this top will easily be taken out however after this particular pattern is complete which actually started from over here either it is wave 1 and 2 smaller wave 1 and smaller 2 3 4 5 and that would be wave 3 4 or 5 uh, but uh, we could actually also look it as wave A and wave B and wave 1 2 3 4 5 but I'm expecting once again that this top uh, would be taken out easily uh, 
uh, from this particular movement that actually started from over here. If you are interested in going long in gold, uh, once again, please use money management. Uh, at this point, this is the low to be used because we are not aware whether the correction is complete or not, but we are definitely can see that the new structure started out right from over here. I think it is uh, 1910 probably. So this is the proper point of reference to be used and a similar structure happened in silver. So once again, please do proper uh, point of references for uh, gold and silver. A uh, lot of volatility is occurring. Uh, once again, I'm bullish on gold and silver. Now, if some of you guys, I'm uh, by the look of it, a lot of you guys have missed my analysis on uh, on crude oil, and crude oil is actually showing very, very interesting price action. Uh, we are going, only going to discuss the. Uh, I will discuss also the Elliott wave analysis, uh, but right now I want to discuss the wave personality. Uh, if some of you, uh, some of uh, you guys are interested in looking at wave personality, this is a very important lesson. Uh, so, if you look at this price action, this price action. And if you look at this price section, they have completely, uh, starting from this bottom, these price structures have completely different personality as compared to this personality and this personality. These two waves are th sharp, clearly sharp. These waves are a lot of zigzag is happening, if you can see, and a lot of uh, up and down price movement is happening. And it's not as sharp as this one. So this is one of the ways we can use uh, to identify corrective patterns. And it is more clear here on um, on crude oil right now. So as per my analysis, I'm considering this as wave 1 and wave 2 and wave 3. And wave 4 is way time consuming as compared to wave 2. Does not mean that we cannot consider it as wave 2. Other possibility we can use is this is A, B and C, which is wave W or a zigzag and we can consider this as a correction within the correction forming a wave X. So this is wave W and this is wave X which is an expanded flat pattern right once again. So both labelings are with, uh, are good. Uh, it still good means that we are heading downward. The main trend stays uh, bearish for uh, crude oil. However, we have some points that we want to discuss. Is there a possibility that the, the price movement that actually started right from over here is not complete? there is a possibility as long as prices are staying above 107.75 there is a possibility that we can say that the the, the uh, wave structure that started right from over here is yet not complete so our confirmation shall not be looked at as using the diagonal only but we should put more focus on the horizontal and this being coming for because a lot of time the wave four of a higher degree would fall uh, in, in wave uh, of four of a previous smaller degree. And that's what we are seeing right over here. We have seen a good jump right over here too. However, there is a problem if you can see on a 30 minute. Uh, let me see. And once again, uh, we can see that the price action here is completely different as compared to this one right over here. All right, this is only a hint. Once again, we are trying to catch up uh, where, where the uh, the top is occurring. So we are right now focusing on the, the top of the next string to go uh, down right over here. Our main focus remains that we have completed first part of the correction right over here or it is an impulsive wave and we have completed and we are considering this whole price movement as an expanded flat. The whole point right now we are look, focusing on, on is is this pattern that actually started the third wave of the pattern is complete or not. As long as that, as soon as that pattern is complete, we are expecting to go downward, and I'm expecting to create a, to see a five-wave structure. My more concern, uh, I'm bending towards here, is uh, that this is an impulsive price movement, a corrective, an impulsive, a corrective. So we should see uh, a five-wave structure going down, forming a new low uh, somewhere in this region. All right right uh, lower than this low so I'm expecting somewhere in this region we need to adjust the, it, and this is just an impulsive price action labeling let's have a look on a 30 minute chart and we can see first of all the head and shoulder pattern is forming there is a possibility that we have seen a top right over here too once again uh, the final answer would only come once we have seen the the prices to fall below there is a possibility on a smaller time frame that we might see another push up still and come down 
and but once again the confirmation is necessary for this particular call to happen if you want to be bearish uh, that's your decision but I'm going to wait uh, probably uh, the break of 10775 uh, and I'm bearish on on crude oil uh, definitely next few days are uh, trading days or next few weeks are going to be very very interesting for the the bearish set setup right over here now Dow Jones if some of you guys are actually trading uh, stocks or Dow Jones itself uh, then this is very very interesting picture uh, one of uh, user I think I do not remember a couple of weeks ago when I said that we are looking definitely bullish for gold and silver uh, said that that means that very bad news coming for for uh, stock market uh, we have seen right now uh, impulsive corrective impulsive corrective pattern what one of these pattern this is on a four hourly chart this chart this pattern is is very very dangerous pattern and it is the bookish a form of expanded flat the bookish form of expanded flat in which wave C is longer uh, or you can say a regular flat is not expanded flat because wave B has not created a new low so if you can call it a regular flat the only thing is that wave C is more elongated and a more uh, longer as compared to wave A it does happen from time to time and not only is more longer we can also see uh, that wave C is taking a lot more time as compared to wave A as a result the waves are very clear wave 1 right over here wave 2 right over here wave 3 right over here wave 4 right over here and then wave 5 and then we can see that any time uh, the bottom can come uh, the top can occur so let's have a look on our daily time frame and that will be give you more indication uh, let me zoom in. I'm considering this whole, whole price movement down as an impulsive wave, a corrective wave. Another impulsive wave, a corrective wave. In this time, uh, the corrective wave has taken way more time as compared to the previous corrective wave, giving us an indication that a lot more distribution is happening right over here too. Uh, so I think that we are looking uh, for a longer period of decline in terms of time once again I'm expecting for a longer period of decline happening in Dow Jones and I'm expecting it to be a clear five wave structure on a daily time frame let me repeat it I'm expecting that I'm, expe I'm seeing a bearish price movement in Dow Jones I'm expecting a clearly divisible five wave structure on a daily time frame and it's gonna take uh, let's say uh, way more time uh, as compared to what we have seen right over here or over here and this is going to be because because we have a lot of uh, distribution has happened right over here and right over here too or you can in terms of Elliott wave analysis we have wave 1 and 2 another wave 1 and 2 that means we are looking for wave 3 uh, of uh, this wave wave 1 2 and wave 3 wave 3 is more time consuming uh, and more price occurrence happens and in, in more price uh, where vibration happens in wave 3 as well and it's the strongest as well so we're more focused is in this one uh, we can say that the labeling is corrective so we cannot say 1 2 1 2 let's say it is A B and C and we are still looking for uh, W and X in that case we are looking for another zigzag but it's going to take more time consuming because we have already created uh, a lot of tops, uh, basically a top, a bottom, uh, a lot. Sorry, let me say again. So a high, a low, a lower high, a lower low, and it looks right now your lower high is being created. So that means a lot of momentum traders are going to come in and join the bearish side of the market, uh, which is very closely uh, linked to our. A forecast of gold and silver so we can see that we are looking for gold and silver to be very very strong in next few weeks and there is a lot of price action going to be happening volatility will still run high as far as my own analysis is concerned I'm expecting that the volatility will uh, stay high in gold and silver uh, and uh, we're expecting a good price action in 
uh, in Dow Jones. So what will be the impact of it? Uh, we need to understand that would Fed jump again and uh, they would make the funds available so that people can or the big huge banks can buy those uh, uh, stocks or, or they can buy themselves. We still have to look because uh, even Fed is now worried about infl inflation and they're trying to take measures uh, but it looks like that they're behind the behind the curve and that's why what the market is showing in gold and silver. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.